One of these here diode lights broke on me. I've been real curious to know what's inside one of them. Got this really heavy porcelain base. Wow. That's tough. I'm going to have to cut into that. Definitely on there pretty good. That's some pretty sturdy plastic right there. I'll tell you that much. You ain't breaking one of these things when you drop it. Nice. It's actually quite the little show in there. I'm not sure why this thing quit working on me. But, uh... It almost looks like it'd make a nice little spotlight if you took this thing off of here. Which I'm gonna do. And see if I can get it to work again just by tapping on it. Kind of interesting though. I don't know what's going on with this thing, why it's not working right, but it's just real dim. However, it does give us an opportunity to look at it. This thing would make an awesome little like floodlight or spotlight. Um, I don't know why everything's so cloudy. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, so something's wrong with that bad boy. I don't know what. Yeah, that is, uh, I'm glad this thing failed, though, because I never realized such a neat little unit was inside of here. Probably liable to get shocked by a capacitor or something here. Probably some kind of, uh, high voltage transformer step down. Usually what they'll do is they'll double the current in electronics like this by a circuit or a current doubler. And then they'll put it in a high voltage transformer and step the voltage down rather than step the voltage up. And the reason they do that is because stepping the voltage down requires a lot less copper than it does stepping it up. This thing's not cooperating. Definitely destroyed once you take it apart, I guess. Oh, I see. That was most of, mostly a uh, heat sink compound. I've got two wires coming through there. Man, that is massive. So uh, the driver's probably dead. But uh, yeah, that was all for the sake of heat. Not quite sure how I'm going to get into this part. It seems sealed. Man, I about took out my coffee there. That's how you open those up, by the way. I wasn't just fooling around. That's the actual procedure. <laughs> yeah, right. So... Looks like here we've got some kind of uh, transformer setup, which will require once again another key. The same key will work if you jar it a little bit. Probably just some windings in there. I don't know what the heck I think I'm going to see. Aha! There's some of the capacitors I was worried about. I guarantee that's what's going on here, guys. There's going to be a, a circuit. Uh, current uh, voltage doubler circuit. It's connected to a high voltage transformer. It's all rubbery. I would imagine this is that uh, thermal rubber compound that they use in like uh, heated coffee mugs and stuff. It actually transmits heat very well. Yep, there's the transformer. So basically what would happen, I believe, is like 240 volts goes into that thing, and then they step it down to 12 by using a small um, step-down coil. Rather than stepping the voltage up, it requires less copper to do it. And I'm pretty sure that's why they do it. I am not an electrical engineer, but I uh, do often look for clever ways to do things. Except for opening up potted electronics, as you can see. I don't... Have clever cleverness in that arena, apparently. So yeah, this thing's just completely covered up, despite the fact it has this heat compound on. This whole thing's aluminum, by the way, guys. This is not porcelain. I thought it was porcelain. 
You fooled me. It's not aluminum. It's some kind of cast. Like, uh, forget the name of that alloy that has magnesium in it. It's not aluminum. So, try to open this up. Rest the way. There's the high voltage transformer. I'm sorry, it's not the high voltage, but and look, it's even you can kind of see I'm right. See how thick that winding is in there? I bet you that's a really thick winding for a transformer this small, which kind of would prove that uh, they did in fact step the voltage down. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's the uh, secondary wrap, and it might be some kind of. <clears throat> It does look like fairly big wire. Let me get a knife. <laughs> All right, so I could be wrong. That might just be a choke. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a transformer though. It doesn't have any writing on here. Oh wait. Yeah, it says L3. L3 is an inductor. I'm pretty sure that L stands for an inductor on a circuit board, so that's not a transformer. Either way, it broke. It doesn't matter. The thing, the circuit fried, and uh, I did learn where to get a nice little piece of aluminum and a cool diode spotlight. That's worth something. I'm going to try and find one of those and open it up. Take a look at it as a spotlight. Well... There it is. You're not going to be able to see the diodes, really. Oh, yeah, you can. Pretty cool. It does attract bugs like crazy, apparently. But, uh, I think I like this better than the spotlight mode. That thing is bright, man. Like, you cannot look at those diodes. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in coming up on a pretty cheap little spotlight, this thing definitely works out. I think it's better than the bulb. I mean, I don't know for sure. But uh, I'm going for it. I kind of dig it. Definitely better than the bulb in my opinion. I could be wrong. Puts a nice little spotlight in the area. 